For this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break, I'm going to be trying a special release beer by Terrapin Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia. Uh, if you remember, I had some episodes ago the um, the one uh, the Imperial Pumpkin Pie Porter was also special release, had the same type of label and was also wax dipped like this one is, which I hate the wax dipped. It's kind of a bitch to deal with, but um, I understand why they do it. They dip it so that they make sure. You know, there's no room for air to get in, so whatever. I understand. Also, it makes it look nice. It makes it look super special. <laughs> people, a lot of people believe, oh, it makes it look so nice. Uh, I could do without, but, you know, say la vie. Anyway, hopefully this will be a really nice beer. Um, I, it's their, it's a variation on their Muhu Milk Chocolate Stout, which I typically have enjoyed. Um, I also had uh, the variation of the White Chocolate Muhu Milk Chocolate Stout before, um, not on the show or anything, but uh, it was quite good, very surprising, especially considering I don't like white chocolate typically, so I was very surprised by that. Um, this is a variation, different one. It is a the Muhukiado. Uh, I'm assuming that's how you say it. Some people might say Muhuchado. Uh, I think it's Muhukiado. Uh, it's the Chocolate Espresso Milk Stout, and you can see there, it's 6.1% alcohol by volume. Like I said, Terrapin Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia. Uh, so obviously, I'm expecting to get a whole lot of lactose and some chocolate notes and the espresso that they say is in there. So I did, before recording here, take some of the uh, wax off so it's easier to get off. So I cheated a little bit, just a little bit. Let's go ahead and pour this bad boy. I'm assuming it's going to be very dark, obviously. You know, it's a stout. Typical for stouts. There you go, so you can kind of see the bottle a little bit. Oh, nice big head when I poured it. Very tan. Very tan head. You can't see anything through it. It's just dark, dark, dark. Um, basically what I expected. Whew. Yeah. Milk, chocolate, and espresso is basically what it does smell like. I mean, I'd assume that's what it smells like. If it's smelling like anything else, there's probably a problem. Ooh, but it's like, it's green coffee. It's not like extremely roasty coffee. It's like young green coffee notes coming up. And that's kind of what I get hit with second. It's kind of like um, lactose, green coffee, milk chocolate. It smells really nice. And as I keep sniffing it, I feel like that green coffee just gets stronger and stronger and stronger, which is smelling nice because I do like coffee and I like coffee flavor in my stouts. Mm. Oh, okay. Definitely getting it. Oh, wow. Real creamy in the mouthfeel because of that lactose. Um, it's a little bit less of a mouthfeel than I thought. I thought it'd be a little bit heavier, but it's actually coming in pretty nice, like medium mouthfeel for a stout. Uh, definitely getting the coffee, like first thing when I'm tasting it. And like I was saying, getting that kind of creaminess from the lactose in it. Mm. And the chocolate, you know, the milk chocolate's in there. Um, it's kind of sandwiched though. It's kind of like in the middle and the um, the coffee kind of takes over at the end. It's like coffee in the beginning, then it's kind of the lactose and the chocolate, and then it's coffee at the end. It's more because you know coffee's more of like a lingering flavor anyway. Mm. I like the I really like the lactose in there. The creaminess adds a whole lot to it. Um, the espresso is quite nice. Uh, I do think that I like this. A little bit more than the regular Muhu, but I don't like it as much as the white chocolate Muhu. That white chocolate Muhu is very, very interesting. If you can find that, find a way to get it. It's, I mean, it's not like in season at the moment, but you might be able to find someone who could trade who's holding on to a bottle. Um, so do that. This one I also would recommend. It's very, very interesting. Uh, like I said before, 6.1% alcohol. Uh, it's made with Olive and Sinclair Chocolate. That's a chocolate company. And it's also made with Jittery Joe's Coffee. Um, makes me interested to know what Jittery Joe's Coffee might taste like on its own, not in a beer. Uh, I have had times before where I've tried the actual coffee that's gone into a beer and it's just been like, eh, eh, on the coffee. It's not so good. But in the beer, it's great. A perfect example being Trogue's Java Head Stout. 
Um, I don't know exactly what coffee it's brewed with, but I remember I bought some at Trogues, and my wife and I brewed it up, and we were like, eh, I don't really like that coffee. It's not so good. But works great in the Java Head Stout, so, hey. Anyway, um, yeah, the Muhukiado, I would recommend it. See if you can get yourself a bottle. Very nice. I'm going to sip on the rest of this tonight, and uh, eat a pork belly taco. Be jealous.